Thomas, welcome to the London Film Festival. It's Thank you. Thank you very us. much for having us. Now, Nous sommes très honorés d'être ici. We are very honored to be here. Now, many of your films are bizarre combinations of two completely different worlds smashing into each other. So, for example, um, in The Beat That My Heart Skipped, it's classical music and gangsters. And in A Prophet, it's criminality and spirituality. Now, in this film, it's orca whales and bare-knuckle street fighting. Are you drawn to this idea of taking, um, you know, two conflicting worlds Prends and putting des, them together? Des, des éléments, des mondes différents pour les, les faire se rencontrer. Yes. <laughs> yes, actually, you know, we, that's how you build a story with a lot of diversity and antagonism. If you take uh, elements that are too much alike, you know, from coming from the same world, ça va être difficile de raconter une it's going to be difficult to uh, find uh, interesting things to it's tell in that story. It will be extremely linear. So you co-wrote the story together. It's based on the collection of short stories by Craig Davison. Did it take you a while to figure out which two stories from the collection that you were going to use? Actually, we chose three. Right. We chose three short stories, and uh, we haven't done one. And actually, by mixing the, the, the two we, we liked uh, and inventing characters and changing characters, and we uh, arrived at something that was close to the third short story. It's it's a love story, actually, and that's what we wanted to be uh, the, the, the film about it. We wanted the film to be a love story. Now, one of the major challenges adapting this is that it's very specifically American, the book, you know, kind of where it takes place and the language. Moi, je pense que si c'est une réflexion qu'on s'était faite fait avec Tom. Yeah, we thought about it a lot. Les, les, les nouvelles de Craig Davidson. Uh, Craig Davidson short stories. Vous, vous les adaptez aussi dans, 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 dans le monde américain aux États-Unis. In America, in the, in the United sont, States. Ce sont des lieux communs. Then uh, it's things that you've already seen. Vous avez vu les combats de boxe. Vous avez you've vu les, les fighters. Les, in, vous avez l'impression d'avoir tout vu. Seen, you know, en revanche, si vous, Land, si vous uh, déplacez ça uh, en France, but if you bring that in France, ça devient intéressant. Then it becomes interesting all of a sudden. Pour la bonne et simple raison qu'un marineland, il n'y en a qu'un seul. Because <laughs> in France, a marineland, there's only one in Antibes. Ce n'est pas du tout une culture qu'on a. It's not, a, it's not inside our culture, but it's something that really happens today. Il va, il va y avoir, et ça va, ça va, ça va créer forcément quelque chose de plus intéressant que si c'était aux États-Unis. It creates something more interesting than if you uh, do it in the States. Now, the whale uh, taking Stephanie's legs, the scene in the film is, is a lot more subdued and... Uh, lyrical mm -hmm. almost abstract whereas in the book it's very extreme and graphic uh, yes. gory and graphic so talk yeah. about that change Does it? well uh, we had to do it in, in reality so we had to do it in the marine land and uh, it was complicated dealing with them and you know telling them we're going to show one of your animals you know Hitting, mm -hmm. absolutely hitting the, the legs and they, they didn't want us to do that so um, we had to find a way Il y avait eu deux morts. Yeah, because the, the, that same year we were writing the screenplay, the, actually two people died in, in, with uh, killer whales. And so uh, they were extremely touchy with that, that thing. So we had to find a way that would be uh, mm -hmm. showing without showing, telling without seeing. Or, you know, but originally it sounds like in the script it was more like the book. Originally, the way you wrote. Originally it was more like the book, yes. How but long did that take to shoot? The mode. The, the, the movie itself voilà. was 14 weeks, but the, the part in Mainland was not just on three, a few days. Climatique. We had a lot of problems with the weather. With the weather and uh, uh, du du during the shooting in Antibes. And after, we, we need the uh, ice for, for the lake. Yes. For so the last scene in the film, we needed the ice, but we waited for the ice to, uh, voilà. to come, and actually it didn't come. So we had to move and, and go to a different part of Europe where, where, where you can find dans les Alpes. Yeah, so we went in the Alpens, and where we found the ice. And finally, uh, it's a very bleak, powerful film, but yet it's filled with all these pop songs, and everybody on the festival circuit has been talking about, you know, how you used Katy Perry <laughs> in this. Can you talk about using the pop songs in this really dark world? Comment Katy Perry? Enfin, comment? Pourquoi j'utilise des chansons populaires? Ouais. Et pourquoi Katy Perry? Ouais. Katy Perry, c'est parce que comment? C'est 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 la musique du show. Katy Perry is the actual music in, during the show at, at la Maryland la show. with the orcas. Voilà. Alors euh, ça c'est une chose. Après, je, moi je pense que comment il y a des usages euh, 
Moi, je fais un usage. La musique de score, pour moi, elle sert à raconter les personnages. Well, the way I use music in my films is that the, the, the score helps me uh, telling, uh, telling more about the, the characters. Et les musiques de source. Uh, de, and then the pop music helps me. C'est plus pour raconter le temps qui passe. Telling the story and the time that the flows and and the story itself. Jack and Thomas, thank you so oh, much merci. for talking to Sydney Outsiders. It was a thrilling adaptation. Merci oh, great. Thank, thank you, you very much. Best. We're very happy you read the, the short stories. <laughs>